Hey guys, what's up? Team 3D. I right, just got off work. Focus time. I figured I'd make this video before tomorrow because it's really important because today's September 1st. Now, I preach this a lot, um, but I know a lot of people just don't apply it. The importance of the daily routine. Uh, I emphasize time and time again why it's important for every individual to have a daily routine. And once again, guys, I learned all these things. See, I was looking at the comments on the earlier video, and first I was a little upset, then I just started smiling and laughing. The video on the body, you know, the, the whole dad thing. Because it's amazing how the world is full of hypocritical, hypocritical, dishonest people. And when one honest person, right, because what is honesty? Honesty does not mean perfection. Honesty just means you don't hide anything, right? When one honest person comes on YouTube, exposes himself to the world, right, and, and, and just leaves you know leaves all the closets open leaves all the skeletons out people have this idea that wisdom or intelligence means a halo in your head a perfect guy who doesn't make mistakes when you find that guy give me a call send me an email in fact send him an epic unboxing number eight send him to me because you're not going to find one and it's funny it's people that know that they have flaws but refuse to to, to confront them they are the ones who are quick to throw stones at others i don't know if you guys noticed that because a true man who's honest with himself knows that he himself has demons that he would be ashamed if people knew about. So when I see comments of people just throwing stones, oh man, you should have known better, da -da 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 -da, it makes me laugh because it, it, it shows me their insecurities. It shows me their flaws. But I'm not going to judge them because like I said, I'll just be making some mistake they're making. But I want you guys to understand one thing. Wisdom is not perfection. Wisdom is simply the love for knowledge, the search for knowledge. And like I put in a comment earlier, if I was smart, if I was like super intelligent and I know everything, why am I reading all these fucking books? Why am I, you know what, let me show you guys. Hold on one second. Matter of fact, nah, it's going to take too long. Why do I have all these routines? Why do I have all these things set up? Why did I come up with all these techniques if I already had it together? It's because, if you watch my other videos I mentioned, it's because I was in the darkness. It's because I hit rock bottom because of my stupidity, obviously. It's because I, I crashed into so many dead ends that I decided to get back up and learn from my mistakes and, you know, like, like literally can up all this, all this information. So I was, I was looking at the comments and I was just smiling. I was like, are you serious? Who are you to judge me? Like, think about it. But anyway, uh, moving along. So yeah, remember guys, wisdom does not mean perfection. Wisdom is you seeking perfection. And the reason why you're seeking perfection is because you're not perfect. Wisdom is a search for knowledge. The reason why you're searching for knowledge is because you don't have enough knowledge. I would not be reading books if I felt like I was, you know, if I was wise beyond my age, you know. People don't fucking think. People don't think. All right. Uh, daily routine. Three reasons why you should have a daily routine. Number one reason is focus. I wrote it here so I don't, so I don't forget. Focus discipline and pleasure and I explain why what is a daily routine a daily routine is simply something you do every day at the same time like sometimes you might not be able to do it at the same time but it's something you do every day the reason why that gives you focus is how can I compare it to uh like I said focus is the rope that connects you to your goal right you have a goal you have a dream you have a future you want to you know achieve so you have your focus your focus is like a rope so you see your future over there and then you throw a rope boom and now you just pulling it pulling it closer each day or you pulling yourself closer each day that rope is your focus your mind is, 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 is always on it you always your words everything you do is directed towards that one goal without a daily routine it is hard to stay focused how many times did you say I'm gonna lose 10 pounds the first two days man you were on it three days later four days later you're like what the fuck happened your focus was broken someone cut that rope something cut that rope and you are the only protector of your focus that rope that i mentioned only you can defend that thing only you can can ensure that no one fucks with it it's kind of like a signal an internet signal going from from a, a tower to a house if it gets interrupted by all the static and stuff like that your internet connection gets weaker and weaker and weaker finally it cuts off you got to turn off your modem and turn it back on uh you old school guys know what i'm talking about but your focus is very important. And without a daily routine, you cannot have a focus. you got to have something you do every day. A wise man once said, something you do every day will determine what you become permanently. What you do daily decides what you become permanently. That's very powerful. I learned that when I was 17 years old. And I wish I had applied that. Because I didn't. Which is why I made all these fucking mistakes. 
But um, but everything I'm telling you guys now is is stuff that I learned from mistakes. So don't be surprised when you see my demons. I, I got I got a lot more. So if, for for you for you guys throwing stones out there, come with a bag loaded because I got a lot more and I'm not ashamed to just throw them out there. Second reason: discipline. Simple. Watch my video on what is Team 3D. Having a daily routine gives you discipline. It sharpens you. What's the difference between somebody who has discipline and somebody who doesn't? Somebody who has discipline is like a sharp knife. You only need to cut once. Someone who's not disciplined is a dull knife. You have to cut plenty of times to get the job done. When you discipline and you realize I have to do this, boom, it gets done right away. Because your mindset is just, everything about you is just so sharp. A daily routine builds discipline. You do the same thing every day. You build character, strength, discipline, self-confidence. Very important. Third reason why you got to have a, a daily routine is simply pleasure. Like I wrote down pleasure. It feels good. For example, you guys watch my daily, I have videos on daily routines and stuff like that. Just go to my motivation and inspiration playlist. I have tons of videos on that. At the end of the day, when I look back, I'm not going to lie to you. Like I'm fucking, you know, I, I'm nonchalant. I don't have emotions or some shit. I get excited. When I get home and I see my daily routine and I see the check marks and stuff that I actually got done, I feel good. Especially when I'm knowing the person I used to be, the lazy ass that I used to be. It feels good to see that you actually got things done. And I started doing this thing like around, what, January? Or probably a little after that, when I came out of that depression period. So, and I realized, wow, I'm making progress. Pleasure. Pleasure comes from following a daily routine, from making it and following it. Uh, I read a psychology book one day, and someone said there's three steps to pleasure. Creation, tracking, and accomplishing. Meaning when you create a goal, you get pleasure instantly. Try it. Put out a piece of paper and write down, I'm going to do this by this. Because without a deadline, a goal is wishful thinking. So just right there, I'm going to do so, 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 and so. I'm going to have so, so, and so buy and put a date. Automatically, you feel pleasure. You're like, oh, because you anticipate, can I do this? Am I up for the challenge? Number two, when you track progress, you feel pleasure. When you get up on a scale and you see the weight going up, you feel good. If that's your goal. Or if you're trying to lose weight, you get on a scale, you see the weight going down. You feel pleasure. If that's your goal. So pleasure comes from creating, tracking, and the third step is accomplishing. When you accomplish something. I mean, I don't got to, that's not wisdom, just common sense. You feel good. So all these things, focus, discipline, pleasure, all come in a nutshell called a daily routine. Have a daily routine. How do you make a daily routine? Very simple. I'm not going to get into the details because I already mentioned that in some other videos. Uh, like I say, search them up. Uh, but for example, like I have my schedule, right? I have, it's very packed as you guys can tell, right? I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm just going to read it to you. From Monday, for example, uh... The shitty portions of my classes, I'm only taking uh, four classes this semester, so that's 12 credits. And the rectangles, that's my, my jobs. I have uh, three jobs. Two of them are pretty much the same thing. It's tutoring, but different kinds of tutoring. So, for example, Monday, from 9 to 10, I have a class. Then I tutor from 10 to 12. Then I have a class from 125 to 245. Then I tutor from 3 to 5. Then I have the second tutoring job, which is embedded from 6 to 820. And Tuesday, 9 to 10, then 12 to 120, da da da. See, so you can tell, so I have like classes, work, classes, work. When I say I'm busy, I'm not joking. Classes, work, classes, work, 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 work. And then Saturday, Sunday is when I work at Kroger. I told them to cut my hours down to three hours a day. So every week, the Kroger hours change, but this schedule doesn't change for the whole semester. The only thing that changes is the Kroger schedule. But um, plus, YouTube is becoming my job, pretty much. I mean, uh, I spend a lot of time on this, but. So what I do is I look at my schedule and I look at the slots. As you notice, for example, Monday I have from 9 to 10, I'm in class. Then I tutor from 10 to 12. Then I have a break from 12 to 125. So that one hour and 25 minute break, all those breaks, I highlight them on a different piece. I put them on a different piece of paper and I highlight them. All these open slots in my schedule. And since I know I have these slots guaranteed all semester long, I set goals for each of these slots. If I have one, a one hour period... Why would I just wait and just let shit happen? No, I want to be in control, so I set a goal. In that one hour, I'm going to read this book. In that one hour, I'm going to do this. I'm... That's how you make a daily routine. You look at the times of your day that don't change, and when you are free, and you plug something in there. Because if you don't do that, then every day, different things will happen. You're never in control. Somebody calls you, hey, let's go hang out. Look at your daily routine. Well, hold on. At 6 p.m., I'm free, but that's the slide when I have to read uh, this book. Or that's the slide when I have to... Go to the gym. Or that's the slot when I have to make my meals. Boom. You discipline. It inspires your friends. It gives you dignity, character, all these great things. So simple. Look at your schedule. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have a lot more time on your hands than I do. But look at your schedule. Look at the slots that you, you know, that you free. 
and put things there you know if you're looking for ways to uh if you're looking for things to do it's, it's easy just look at the stuff that you like to do what do you like to read about what are you most passionate about what do you love the most what do you when you walk into a, a store if you walk into a library even if you don't read if you walk into a library like i said i used to hate reading too but if you walk into a library what section would you go to you know that category is a sign that you know you actually like that kind of topic if you like music what instrument do you like study that every day you know do something every fucking day and increase we used to be kids we used to play video games all the time pokemon all that stuff what, what was so fun about it is the fact that we were able to level up to go from level one to level five to level six i think we started at level five in pokemon and we love the fact that we're able to level up kind of like final fantasy and stuff like that you can't do that in real life look at your skills look at your strengths all the stuff that you're good at all the stuff that makes you different than other people and give yourself a level for example if you're good at god just name anything uh playing the piano i always use that as an example what level are you level five all right so write that level five your job is to become level 10 by a certain deadline if you're good at if you you have a very good bench press you know you're really good at bench pressing give yourself a level on a scale of one to ten if you level six then your job should be to become level ten by a certain deadline it is not hard to set goals guys just look at what you're already good at and look at what you need improvement in and make goals based on that so guys if you have if today's september 1st so it's the best time it's a new month new new opportunity to start fresh set a daily routine like i said i'm a scapegoat i made all the mistakes and i'm still making mistakes but the the good that's coming out of it is that I'm using my mistakes to teach people. Just like I learn from other people's mistakes. I always say this, a wise man learns from his mistakes. A wiser man learns from the mistakes of others. So I wish I had followed my advice years back, but I didn't have anybody to fucking teach me. Or I was too much of a jerk to take advice. So hope that helps, guys. Please make a daily routine. You thank me one day for that. Team 3D Alpha. King me.